Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to another episode of Edge to Edge. Today's contenders are... The Civivi Elementum versus... I'm not sure why I'm dragging this out like it's supposed to be dramatic, you probably read the title. But anyways, versus the... QSP Hawk. So I'm actually kind of excited about this one. Pretty excited about this edge to edge episode. So in case you're new here, edge to edge is a series where we take two knives and we compare them against each other. There are 10 scorable categories. Each knife gets a point for every category they win in. Ties are possible. At the end, we add up all the points and we see if we have an overall winner. So let's go ahead and let's jump right in with these two knives. Our first category is the blade. So on the QSP, we're looking at a nice little drop point blade made of 14C, 28N, ground very well. And here, uh, this is actually a flat grind or a, a saber grind. So it has this little bit up here, saber grind, grind. And here on the Elementum, we have a D2 blade that's ground very, very thin, hollow grind. Uh, and it's a spear point. So, both these knives are excellent, excellent performers, but I'm going to have to give them a tie. And, and, here, and here's the reason why. Um, because I, I could have given the win to the, uh, to the Civivi because you can get a bunch of different blade steels. D2, S35VN, Damascus with the Civivi. But I really do think the QSP has a very, very nice blade and sometimes flat grinds. Are good to have. Um, they're both very thin. They both slice very well. Um, I prefer 14C 28N. I'm glad that the QSP comes in 14C 28N, which you cannot get with the Elementum D2. Um, but still, we're going to give them a tie in the blade category because they're both pretty good. Our next category is the Ergos. So on the Elementum, we have pretty neutral Ergos. We have this little swoop. Kind of a fatter area up here, straight across the top till it gets to the back. Pretty comfortable. You have this little area that I can choke up in at least a little bit. A little bit scary, but I can get up in there. On the, uh, not Pelican, Hawk. Why do I always want to say QSP Pelican? I've never owned a Pelican. <sighs> very comfortable. Very, very comfortable. Uh, these edges are nicely rounded. This little area here gives you a spot to put your finger. You can choke up like that. Get in here like this. This Troil 2, I can get the first part of my finger in pretty comfortably. I'm going to give Ergos to the QSP. For, for the reasons I just mentioned, uh, it does have a more filling grip. Um, as you can see, it is thicker than the Elementum. Uh, and this micarta here is really nice. You can get the Elementum in different handle materials, but... Um, I do think that the QSP has better ergonomics than the uh, Civivi. Our next category is materials. This is where we take into consideration the materials used in the construction of the knives, obviously. So we've already gone over blade steel, 14C28N, which actually I forgot to mention with the blade, you can, or at least you used to be able to get the QSP in S35VN and um, Damascus as well. I forgot to mention that when I was talking about blades which is why it won. Anyways, um, <laughs> for materials, we're going to go ahead and give them a tie. Um, and the reason is because, like I said, there's just so many different versions of the Elementum. You can get in all kinds of different colors of G10, wood handles, carbon fiber, blade steels, S35VN, D2, Damascus, the QSP. You can get a bunch of different colors of... Uh, Micarta, which I do prefer over G10, you can get Coe's Micarta for the Elementum 2. Um, I do like this Micarta quite a bit, though. Uh, you can get wood handles, carbon fiber handles, I think some G10 handle versions, S35VN blades, 1428N, and Damascus. So materials, they tie. They, they tie on materials 100%. They're, they're, both, they're both very good. Uh, next, fit and finish. Both these knives are very good, as you can see. They're both perfectly centered. Um, no blade play on either of them. 
but I am going to give the win for fit and finish to the Elementum. And the, and the one reason is, like I said, they're both very, very close, but the reason I'm giving it to the Elementum over the QSP is, in QSP you can see how the logo's kind of falling off the flat of the blade onto the grind. Yeah, yeah, that, that that's what brought it down. Yeah, that, that that's how close these guys are, but we're going to give the win to the, to the Elementum. Value. So with these guys here, you're looking at about 55 bucks. The Elementum start at about 52. This version here is about 60, and then they go up from there. But, and these guys do go up higher and higher and higher. Um, geez, this one was very hard, but I am, I do think I'm going to give the value to the Elementum uh, because you can get S35VN Elementals for like 80 bucks. And last time I checked, the S35VN versions of the Hawk were like 100 bucks. So... We're going to give value to the Elementum. Action! Let's get this guy out of the way and let's try that again. Yeah. Very, very good action. As you'd expect from a Civivi. But this action's very good as well. So, as far as action goes, we're going to give them both a tie. They shake shut pretty equally. They snap out very well. Tie on the action. Fidget factor. This is different than action. Fidget factor takes into consideration how fun is it to play with a knife. And we're going to give the win to the hawk. For one, one, well, actually two reasons. Thumb studs. One on each side. So, yeah, you can flip this guy out just like you can with the elementum. But... You can also use the thumb stud deployment and spidey flick. So definitely a lot more fun to play with than your Elementum. So our next uh, category is the carry. Um, let's hold up both these guys. You can see these guys both have pocket clips for tip up carry that are non-reversible. But, I'm gonna give them a tie on carry um, because honestly, none of them is very heavy. Heavy. The element is definitely lighter and a little bit narrower and a little bit shorter, but, but I mean, at least according to me, they both carry well. They, they both carry well enough that it's, it's not going to bother me one way or another. So there we go. Carry, they get a tie. Construction. Um, They also get a tie on construction. Both these guys are put together just, just very, very well. As you can see, both these are actually shadow box, uh, actually have uh, liners that are shadow box in the scales. Both of them have really cool little uh, pivot pins. Uh, as far as clips go, um, they, they have the opposite clips. So this guy has a clip that has sunk into the scales, but has protruding screws. The Elementum has flat screws, but a clip that's not sunk into the scales. If you were to combine the clips, it'd be just about perfect for me. Um, but still, I mean, they're put together very, very similarly. We're going to give them a, a tie on construction. And now for our last category, the X Factor. And even though all these categories are very subjective, this is the most subjective category. Um, this is basically just, you know, which knife is cooler? And then there's a lot of things that go into this, you know, which knife has a better reputation, which knife looks cooler to me personally, which knife has a cooler name. Um, I'm going to give them the tie in X Factor. You know, the Elementum is definitely a lot more popular, but I think QSP is really, really climbing and trying to, uh, trying to kind of compete with Civivi, um, especially with the Penguin. The Penguin's really, really popular. I think when people, I think the Hawk is pretty popular too. I think it is pretty popular too. As far as names go, Elementum and the Hawk, both awesome names. They both look really, really cool to me. And yeah, they tie with the X Factor. So that leaves us with a score for the Hawk of eight points for the Elementum, a score of eight points. We've had our very, very first tie here in Edge to Edge, 
And I really do think, I, I stand by that 100%. These knives are both very similar and very good. Very recommendable, very dependable, very classy, and just great small EDC knives. And with both of them, you can really get pretty much anything you want. There, there's a few more variants with the Elementum, but I mean, you want to go fancy. They both have fancy versions. They both have S35 VM versions. They're just great knives. They have inexpensive versions, more expensive versions. They perform well. You, you can't go wrong with either of them. And that's all I've got to say about it. Thank you for watching. If you liked what you saw, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, I will see you in the next video. Gideon out.